Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a tutorial of the just updated Mini Maestro app. This new version of the app lets you configure the expression pedal and contains other quality of life changes. It's available now on the App Store and Play Store with links to download in the description and a pinned comment below. This tutorial is structured as a follow along video, so if you don't have the app handy, go ahead and pause the video, download the app, and then resume. Now that you've got the app, let's start by getting you familiar with its layout. Upon opening the app, you'll see the following screen. This is the main section of the app, with the currently selected custom mode named at the top. If it's your first time using the app, this should say, My First Configuration. Beneath that, you'll see the page number with arrows to the left and right of it. Tapping the left arrow navigates to the previous page, and the right arrow to the next page. As you can see, there are 10 pages in total, which is the maximum supported by the Mini Maestro. Underneath are six slots, which correspond to the six screens on the MIDI Maestro. On the left of each slot is a visual showing the corresponding screen and button position on the MIDI Maestro. So slot one is the top left button, slot two the top middle, slot three the top right, four the bottom left, and so on. Slots can be rearranged by pressing and holding, then dragging the individual slot to your desired button assignment. Each slot holds one button setup, which can be accessed by tapping the slot. We'll hold off on explaining this page until we set up our first button later in the tutorial. So for now, let's tap the back button in the top left corner. In the top right corner of your screen, you'll see an icon that looks like a rounded square with an arrow pointing out and to the right. This icon, when pressed, will upload the currently selected custom mode to your MIDI Maestro. For the rest of the tutorial, we'll call this icon the Upload button. We'll describe this process in the updating section of the tutorial. Take a look at the top left corner now. Tap the three line hamburger icon to open the main menu. Going from top to bottom, the main menu enables you to access your locally stored commands, access your locally stored modes, update the modes on your MIDI Maestro, update your firmware, and configure your expression pedal. If you want to exit the menu without selecting one of the options, simply tap or swipe from the right side of the screen. Now that you know the basics of the app layout, let's walk through the updating process. To update your device's firmware, update your default modes, and or upload a new custom mode, you're going to want to wait and press and hold the pair button on the back of the MIDI Maestro. Press this until a blue light begins to blink. That'll put your MIDI Maestro in pairing mode. Then head back to the app. Hit the menu button in the upper left corner, and then find and press Update Firmware. Your phone will connect to the MIDI Maestro and load the latest firmware onto it. While the update is happening, don't turn off your MIDI Maestro or close the app on your phone. This includes locking your phone screen or changing to another app. If any of that happens, you may need to start the update again. Also, the MIDI Maestro app connects to the MIDI Maestro directly, so don't attempt to pair your phone with the MIDI Maestro in the Bluetooth settings. Once the update is complete, turn off your MIDI Maestro and turn it back on again to load the changes. Once you have updated the firmware, you should also update the default modes to ensure your MIDI Maestro functions properly. This process is nearly identical. Open the main menu, then hit Update Default Modes. Again, don't do anything that could disturb the process as we mentioned with the firmware update. Also again is the need to turn off your MIDI Maestro and turn it back on again. Finally, for uploading a new custom mode to your MIDI Maestro, or updating the existing one, navigate to the main section of the app, ensure that the custom mode named is the one you wish to upload, and press the upload button in the top right corner. As I'm sure you've guessed by now, don't interrupt this process. You'll see a progress bar as the MIDI Maestro is being written to, and when it says write completed, it's all done. This process can take up to a minute. As with the other updates, turn the MIDI Maestro off and on again in order to load the new changes. Custom modes are presets that you can create on the app. The MIDI Maestro can only load one custom mode onto its memory bank, but the app can store as many as you want, and it's not hard to swap new modes onto your device. Let's start by opening the main menu and selecting My Custom Modes. This opens a list of modes you have saved to your smartphone. To rename your mode, press the Edit button and perform your edits within the pop up. If you want to delete a mode, press the Delete button and then confirm or cancel with the pop-up. Note that this does not delete the commands in the mode. 
Also, you can't delete the currently selected mode. To make a new custom mode, hit the plus button at the bottom and name your new mode. Let's call our mode BB Tutorial. The BB is short for Beat Buddy. Once you hit save, you'll see three options, blank, BB mode, and Eros mode. Selecting Beat Buddy mode or Eros mode will give you a foundation based on one of the MIDI Maestro's two default modes. If you choose blank, you'll create one from scratch. Let's select the Beat Buddy mode option. Once you've made or chosen a mode, you're brought to the home screen with the name of the mode up top. As you can see, our mode has all the same commands and configuration as the Beat Buddy default mode, since that's the template we chose at the start. Let's tap Beat Buddy Start to bring up the button setup page. We'll go over the layout from top to bottom. At the top, we can see the page and screen button that this setup is assigned to. Beneath that is the Save button, which you'll press to save any changes to a setup. After that, you have the Redirect field, which is currently set to 2. This tells the MIDI Maestro to change the indicated page when the button is set. To modify it, press on the field and then drag up or down. Then there's the top and bottom line fields. These text fields are what will display on the MIDI Maestro's screen. Next is the main function list. This section will list out all commands assigned to the button and gives you options for when they're triggered as well as how they're sent. In this case, we have one command already here, Beat Buddy Start. To the right of that is the device it'll control, noted as Beat Buddy. Beneath the command name, you can see that the down press icon is highlighted in a light blue. This indicates that the command is sent on the down press. If instead we wanted to send it on the release, we could tap the down press button to deselect it, then tap the release icon next to it to select that. The release icon should now be highlighted blue, while the down press is gray. You can also set a command to be triggered on both down press and release by ensuring both options are highlighted, but we'll leave ours on the release. To the right, you have a 5-pin connector icon and a Bluetooth icon. This is how we can set where the MIDI Maestro sends this command. Let's set the command to send both via the MIDI output and the Bluetooth. To do so, we only need to tap the Bluetooth icon. Now, the Bluetooth and MIDI 5-pin icon are both highlighted in blue, meaning that the command will send both to the MIDI output and over Bluetooth. Finally, there's the delete button, which when pressed will trigger a pop-up. We'll tap cancel as we don't actually want to delete this command. Beneath those icons is the add button. When pressed, this will bring you to the find command screen. The find command screen is identical to the my command screen, which you can access via the main menu, with one important difference. You can't delete commands from this view. While here, we're able to search for a new command by tapping where it says command or device name and entering our search query. In this case, we'll type part one. To add the command to our setup, simply tap on the command name or device name. Now the app will redirect you back to the button setup page where you'll see your new command has been added. The last thing we'll cover on the button setup page is the toggle option. Tapping the slider to the right of will this button toggle will add a secondary function to your button. As you can see, there are new top and bottom line fields and a section for the secondary function. Tapping add will once again bring us to the find command screen. If we choose a command, I'll just select clap, we'll see it added to the secondary function list. When toggle is enabled, pressing the button on the MIDI Maestro will swap between the main and secondary functions. A good example of this is the Beat Buddy's double time button setup on page four of the Beat Buddy mode, where after triggering double time, the button swaps to a normal time command so that you can return to the song's normal pace. To deselect toggle functionality, merely tap the slider again. When this is done, the commands you added as secondary functions and the screen text will be remembered, so if you want to turn it back on, you won't have to redo those edits. At this point, we can save our edits by pressing the Save button at the top of the setup screen. The app will redirect you to the main page, and you'll see a small Saved Successfully notification towards the bottom of your screen. Next, let's look at creating and editing MIDI commands. This time, instead of going through the button setup and find command screen, we'll open the main menu and select My Commands. Now you can see the delete button that was missing from the find commands view earlier. To create a new command, you can press the plus sign at the bottom of the list, but 
Before we do, I want to show off a neat trick. Let's assume you've already created several custom commands of your own. If you're anything like me, you may not remember if you've created a command already. So step one would be to search for the command. Let's look for bypass, where it says command name. At this point, you'll see that there are no commands listed. If we then press the plus button at the bottom to create a new command, the new command will be created with the search term as the command name. From there, we can enter the device name in the field next to where it says devices. In this case, we're making a command for the Strymon Big Sky, so I'll type Big Sky. And then beneath that, we have the optional long description of the command. This command's pretty straightforward, so I'm going to skip that. Next, you've got the command type. This works just like the redirect option from button setup, where you can scroll through the options. It includes options for control change, program change, note on, note off, and pitch bend. In our case, we're using a control change command, so we'll be sure to set it as such. Now you need to set the indicated channel the command is sent on. This will be determined by the channel the device you're controlling listens to. For Strymon pedals, channel 1 is the default, so we'll set it to that. Then we'll set the command number to 102, and the value to 0. Now, simply press save, and voila, your command is ready. If you need to edit the command, simply press the edit button, make the necessary changes, and save again. Note that editing commands will change the behavior of that command in all modes that utilize it. So if you want to change the behavior of a specific custom mode, but not all, you'll need to create a new command. Let's head back to the home view by tapping the arrow in the top left. Then, we'll open up the main menu again and press Expression Pedal Setup. In the Expression Pedal Setup page, simply set the CC values to what you would like to send when incrementing and decrementing, and then set the channels. You can always reset the values to default by tapping the red default button in the top right. Once you're done, hit Save. The custom expression pedal will work only when using the custom mode. The default modes will still send the default values. This means you must upload a custom mode onto the MIDI Maestro to see the changes that you've made to the expression pedal. We work to make the MIDI Maestro app as streamlined as possible, designing it to give you flexibility, convenience, and precision. If you found that to be true, please give us a positive review on the App Store or Google Play Store. With that, I'll bid a final thanks for tuning in. And be sure to like and subscribe as well as sign up for our newsletter where you'll be notified of future software and firmware updates. Keep rocking.